be this political controversy now over the Bo Bergdahl exchange, the prisoner swap. I want you to listen to the president. He's overseas in Europe. And he says when you have a chance to free, free a captive American, it's a no-brainer. Regardless of the circumstances, whatever those circumstances may uh, turn out to be, we still get an American soldier back if he's held in captivity. Period. Full stop. We don't condition that. Period. Full stop. We don't condition that is how the president calls it. But John McCain wants himself a prisoner of war, a prisoner of war who turned down his own release because he didn't think it would send the right message, says the president on this one is dead wrong. And this is the first time I've, I've, I've discussed it in this fashion, but I'm appalled to think that everything that the United States and its national interest is submerged and and lower priority than the release of one soldier. That's not how war works and not how national security is addressed. And my heart goes out to Sergeant Bergdahl, whether he is innocent or guilty, I'm glad he's home. But in exchange for that, you cannot put Americans' lives in danger. Where is this debate heading? Because you not only have John McCain and a lot of Republicans say the president paid way too high of a price here in yeah. freeing these five men who are, you know, been blamed and, uh, for killing Americans and killing others. Uh, even Hillary Clinton now, through senior aides, leaking word that she wanted a tougher deal yeah. when she was in office. Uh, is this going to dog the president? Well, it will. I mean, it looks like uh, the House, they want hearings. Uh, perhaps uh, the, the same thing will happen on the Senate side. I think the question is whether or not this is the new Benghazi, right, where there's going to be all sorts of uh, conversation around this uh, and attacks against this president uh, for his decision uh, around this issue. Both sides are playing um, politics with this or treating it like a campaign, not a foreign policy issue. Whether or not the swap is a good deal is going to depend on three things. Whether or not these five terrorists end up back in the battlefield, in retirement, or in a grave. Right. We should wait and see what happens. Wait and see what happens, but this one's not going to go away.